Thank you, Mr. Speaker and members. On behalf of the Latino Legislative Caucus, please join me in celebrating Cinco de Mayo week. HR 17 declares this week Cinco de Mayo week, which offers the opportunity to reflect on the courage and achievements of the Mexican forces at Puebla and Latinos here in California for their contribution to all facets of our community. The celebration of Cinco de Mayo was created by Latinos living here in California during the early dark days of the American Civil War to show the world where Latinos stood on the issues of the great, that great conflict. Latinos opposed slavery and supported freedom for all by the abolition of slavery. Latinos opposed white nationalism and supported racial equality. When the very existent of the existence of the earliest democracies were threatened, the United States by the slave state rebellion and Mexico by the French monarch's invasion, the Mexican victory over the monarch's troops at the Battle of Puebla on Cinco de Mayo of 1862 energized Latinos in California to increase their support for Lincoln as well, as well as Juarez. Every Cinco de Mayo during the Civil War and French intervention, Latinos in California marched behind both the United States and Mexican flags. They sang both When Johnny Comes Marching Home Again and Adios, Mama Carlota. They also gave speeches in both Spanish and English to support Lincoln's idea of government of the people, by the people, and for the people. And Latinos celebrated Cinco de Mayo here in Sacramento, here in the state capitol during the American Civil War. We here in the state capitol continue that tradition by celebrating Cinco de Mayo as a time for Latinos to demonstrate our support for this country and for the ideals of freedom and equality around the world. Cinco de Mayo reminds us that the foundation of any nation and our state is its people. Latinos exemplify every day the spirit of hard work, strength, and courage. They show this by their willingness to sacrifice, to sacrifice life itself and the pursuit of freedom and liberty. For these reasons, I ask you to please join me in co-authoring H.R. 17.